Test, test, test. Okay, test complete. Time to feed. What's up, Jessica? LaCam, Static, Eamon, Bakugo, Gustavs, Ultra Flipman. <clears throat> What's up, Bartek? How's it going? Loud and clear. Glad to hear it, Deppet. Static with the two sub gift bomb. Out of nowhere. Appreciate it. Moen, Jade. Make sure you guys both think static. Oh, whoops. This is way too big. Smaller, smaller. I'm doing good as well, Bartek. I am doing good as well. Can't complain. Habitually showing up late to work is a sign of job dissatisfaction. Yeah, but we're going one hour longer, so it's the same amount of work time. It's more like flexibility of choosing hours, so to speak. Let's see if I can't cheese some people before we find a game. A little work-life balance, true. Can't complain about a little work-life balance. You ready for some backpacking? I'm probably gonna play some backpack after this. So, might be in love. Production complete. Production is now idle. Well, I guess we'll call that a draw. What's up, Rath? Backyard close to being done. Nice. Love to hear that. Puggle. Thank 
Isn't infusion ready? No. Zerglings OP! Zerglings better than Roach is confirmed. There, maybe I'll play some backpack battles. Lost 12 pounds in the process. Today you're putting in turf? Holy, that sounds like some seriously hard work. Crazy. Hey, what's up, Genoan? How's it going? What's up, Moist? Evening, Tom Tom. Hey, what's up, Dampit Hassan, Mr. Tempest? Good morning. Ooh, sounds good, Wrath. A romancer got nerfed three patches in a row and they're still pretty strong. Crazy. <clears throat> oh, you guys are going to have a fountain in your uh, yard too. That's sick. Awesome. <clears throat> Belladonna Shade got uh, buffed again for Ranger. Maybe a Ranger Poison class can work now. Strong Vampiric Potion got buffed. Cauldron got buffed. Huh, maybe I should play some Cauldron. Anyways, where were we? I have 25, 30, 40, 80 percent anti heal. With this one, it should be a hundred. Okay, a hundred percent anti heal online. This one's on sale. I guess I don't mind. What's better, 30 percent of this, or we just Double it. Doubling it is better. The hell did I just do? What the hell did I just do? Oh my god.
Okay, fixed. <clears throat> I could stack two potion belts, but I really can't be bothered at this point. Also, another one of these. All right, well, in that case, we'll go with this uh, this method then. Ooh, big stun, big stun. Oh, big stun. Oh my god, those potions do so much damage. Demonic Potion, infinite damage. Did we lose? We did not, we won. Easy win. <coughs> Alright, what does the cauldron do? It triggers faster for each food item or potion. Upgrades potions. Okay, so if we want to play cauldron, then we want potions, and we want food, and we want mana. Weapon. Sounds good. Hey, what's up, Danny? How's it going? Why are you on YouTube today? <coughs> on sale. Let's not just buy this stuff on sale. There's a rainbow goobert? There is. That's like an exodia goobert. What's it do? It does like everything. It's super strong. It's basically like an auto win. It like heals you for a, a ton, gives you a ton of armor, gives your weapons a bunch of damage. It does like everything. <coughs> it's like, it's essentially an auto win if you get it. I mean, sad. It's, uh, it's extremely hard to get. I don't... I, w I don't mind a pig. I'm down for one pig. Get some econ. We're going for the cauldron build. Makes sense to go pan first, right? Pan synergizes with all the food we need for the cauldron. It's on the Discord in the off-topic and memes. Alright, let's check it out. Off topic and memes. Wait, I don't see anything here. There's nothing in either of those channels. Oh wait, I'm in the wrong Discord, that's why. Huh. All right, let's see Wrath Maul's backyard rework before and after. Okay, I'm guessing these are before pictures. Even the before looks pretty nice. I mean, that looks pretty nice. Look, look at all that space. It's nice. Super hot in the summer. Yeah, I can tell. I can tell this is in one. Where, where is this? It's like 
one of those hot places, Texas, Arizona, Phoenix, something like that. <coughs> Arizona, yeah. Wow, it looks so much more green. That does look way better. The other one looks more deserty. This one, so much green. Look at that. A little pond too, Pago. AstroTurf? Yeah, I think that is AstroTurf. Looks nice though. Trees planted, little, little trees planted and growing. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, like a palm tree? Fog. Wait, I think I saw that one already. Nice. So you did that yourself? Don't you need to like hire someone to do that usually? You got you can you got all the knowledge to do that yourself? That's pretty sick. This does six to seven damage every two seconds. Eight to twelve every two seconds. Technically, the hammer is better than the pan. It's on sale, too. All right, I'm down. <coughs> hammer will let me econ up really hard, too. Oh, we need potions. Because we're going for the... Cauldron, but we don't need to upgrade them. The cauldron should upgrade it automatically. Oh man, there's a dagger. It's like the easiest hammer dagger game of my life. All right, I'll go hammer dagger one more time. Actually, this is my. This seems a little too good for hammer dagger. Less delay on YouTube. All right, sounds good. It's expensive. Those small trees used to be 20 feet king palms. Oh. Drink water like a mother and gives nothing. Oh, well, they'll, they'll give some shade and uh, look nice eventually. Living the life, Wrath. That's awesome. Your starting class items are no longer offered in the shop. Generate items worth two gold every three seconds, gain four armor. Yeah, I'm down. I don't even know what my starting class item is. Like, what, what, like a, the mushroom? I don't need mushroom. It's fine. The customer card right now actually seems pretty good. I think that would actually give me a lot that should give me a lot. More chances at daggers. I'll take custom card. Wrath is the person you'd hire to make a garden like that. Yeah, it sounds like he's a sounds like he's a man of many talents. Let's pog. I don't think I could ever do that. It's intense. Now it's taking up too much space in here. Get that banana out of there. More 
more money. Just <clears throat> gotta do it until you're good at it. Just one word at a time. Well, how do you just go about doing your backyard if you've never had any experience doing that sort of stuff? Surely you had experience, or you just YOLO'd it and learned everything. That'd be pretty crazy if you did. Doesn't this used to combine into a mana dagger? Is there no more mana daggers? Guess not. <coughs> Ooh, vamp dagger. I do want a vamp dagger. I want to try Vamp Dagger Hammer. Seems really good. Let's try that. Oh, is there another customer card? Well, I did not take it. You just Googled it in YouTube? Ah, that's true. I mean, I guess these days everything is on Google and YouTube. Alright, that's fair. That's fair. You can pretty much see. You can pretty much get everything you need on Google or YouTube. Okay, stamina potion. Where should we get on stamina now? <coughs> oh, I should probably put the red dagger in the... That doesn't matter that much, though. Did I ever get to phase three dad in Hades? I know I remember beating Hades like five, six times, so I think so. I mean I beat the boss at least five or six times if I remember correctly. Now, do I want a cursed dagger or do I want to vamp dagger it up? Hmm. You know what? Let's try vamp since we already got one vamp dagger. Another piggy bank. Customer card. But do we want poison daggers, or do we want to just pray that we keep getting vamp daggers? It seems unlikely that we'll get... It seems unlikely we'll get that many... Vamp daggers. I'll make a poison one. I think that's fine. Five vamp with three daggers. It's pretty nice. I'm healing like crazy. It's not enough though. <coughs> Magic torch. Interesting. Seems like a pretty good item. A better way to fit this somehow. Hmm. 
not amazing, but it'll do. It's a little bit worrisome, though, since I committed so hard to the, va the vamp. I feel like I really need some more vamp. If we don't get more vamp, I feel like we're in trouble. Any vampers? Oh my god, vamp. Yes. Saved. Do I want a on sale corrupted crystal? Seems reasonable. I kind of do. Weapons steal life. Increase by 7% per vampiric item. Oh, I see. Ah, whatever. Posted some before and after of models you made. Models? Of what? Alright, we'll check that out after this. Phase 3 is like 50 dads beaten minimum. Oh, okay. I probably did not get there then. It's okay. I'll get there on Hades 2. Isn't that game supposed to come out soon? How come it still hasn't come out? It's supposed to come out this year, isn't it? Well, I guess this'll do. We want this weapon to steal a bit more life though. Maybe we do like this. Well, chat seem quiet today. Yeah, we haven't found a game yet, so there's not even that many people in both chats right now. S still early. I started stream one hour later than usual today too, so uh, it's pretty early. Oh my god, nine vamp. I was healing out of my mind. Oh, the vamp items should be next to each other. That's actually way better. Okay. How do I... If that's the case, where's the best place to put this card then to reflect debuffs? Now, honestly, debuff, debuff reflection is not that important. 50% chance to steal a random buff on hit. That's pretty good. I'll take one of those. I didn't answer your tank question. Oh, I didn't even see it. Let me see. Uh, what, what, did, what did you say? One HP win, Pog. 
Would you say at high level, Scarosh is strong into ETC, or is a smart ETC never going to be getting caught by an indom throw? Um... <coughs> Well, I don't I don't know if I would say Garrosh is super strong in TTC. I mean, if it's a really good Garrosh, he should be able to indom throw most times, but you know, if it's a or if it's a really good Garrosh, but ETC has ways to play around that too. I feel like the matchup is uh like pretty neutral. I wouldn't favor one side significantly. You would take the win here? What do you mean? Take the win and get out? Well, you don't think I can go five more? I'm in pretty low elo. I am pretty sure I can go five more. I'm not worried. This is only gold. Um, My daggers are all upgraded. So there's not much point in getting a poison thingy. But I have exactly enough gold to buy it, so you know it's it's I mean it's fine. Maybe I'll get another dagger. Life steal, life steal. Oh look at my life is going back to full boom, 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 boom. He's removing my vamp somehow. Oh, that's the garlic. Look at that life steal. It's I I have five lives. You don't think I can survive six rounds of five lives? I only have to win one more round. I think this build is really strong. I mean, I have three upgraded daggers and a hammer. I, I think we're actually in a really strong position here. Um, Do I want another banana? I'm okay with it. I don't mind, actually. Why don't we just upgrade our potion at that point? Let's just upgrade the potion. Maybe let's do like this. We have the room to do it like this, though. I think so. Okay, I want my hammer. And dagger. 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 Oh, well, the vamp daggers need to be together, though. Eh, let me tech. They don't really need to. Is this better, or is the other way better? I don't know. The other way is better. It's actually better if they're just together. The together buff is better. Bigger. Garrosh's throw range is longer than the slide, right? Before you get stunned? I think it is, but it's like like you're talking about hundreds of a second. Like there's no Garrosh that would be able to avoid it every time perfectly. Does the payload in Hanamura count Chogal as two people? I think so. I'm not 100% sure though.
Okay, I feel like whatever I did here was not good. Okay. Okay, I don't I don't need the hammer in there. Okay, what if we do like this? This way the daggers, one dagger is next to both. This way both daggers are next to both. This is confusing me. There's gotta be, okay, okay, this looks better. Then we gotta swap that one with these two then. So this hits my hammer. Okay, okay, this looks better. Okay, both daggers are next to each other, both vamp daggers, so we're getting a lot of extra life steal. And my hammer is getting extra life steal, which is the only thing I care about. That looks good. I can work with that. This looks fine. Chogal's hardened skin. Yeah, it's very powerful. I agree. That one is uh, pretty nuts. Another vamp thing is actually really good. All right, we should be a life stealing machine here. Let's see. Yeah, Malgana's sleep is very slow. That's much easier than uh, ETC slide for sure. Fourteen vamp. Man, I must be healing. I wonder how much I'm healing. Heal. One dagger healed 100. The other dagger healed 90. This thing healed 60. So we are healing for like almost 300 over the course of a fight. I'm, I'm life stealing over like 300 HP. And I only have 230. That's pretty good. Do this. Do I want this though? I don't know that I want that. Eh, whatever. I'll try it. Is there a place I can bird? Bird here makes all my daggers attack more. Bird here makes the hammer attack more. Hammer might be more valuable. I could also make my uh, food trigger more. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it seems reasonable. I'm down. Sunder. Yeah, Sunder, um, they changed Sunder. You used to be able to interrupt Sunder, but not anymore. Now it just always comes out. If the button is pressed, it doesn't matter what happens. It will always come out. They, they like, specifically changed it. It's uninterruptible now. Voodoo, thanks for the three months. My pleasure, man. Unfortunately, you're catching us in a uh, live, long-ass queue, but, you know, I do be like that sometime. Let's cancel and requeue, see if it's any better. Yeah, I I hate using bird as well. It's it's a pain in the butt to try to use bird. Big pain in the butt. Agreed. 
but it can like it's, it's unfortunately it is a very good item should probably be used frequently hmm do I have mana generation? No. Oh, this has to be there. Hmm. Oh, dagger. Log. All right, that's good. <coughs> DBD. What is DBD? What's that stand for? Some message June in EU hots. He was playing a few games. Was he playing in the EU? He was playing that laggy EU? That's surprising. Dead by Daylight. Isn't that a really old game? I've heard about that before. I think I've tried it once. I feel like this board is just so randomly god tier. How do you even make an Excalibur again? You just Excalibur and then surround it with food and it seems crazy strong. I feel like I've seen this board quite a few times now, and I've never beaten it. His match, max HP just goes up way too high. And he has like infinite buffs. Infinite healing. Oh, he just messaged June. That makes more sense, yeah. I don't think Sam would actually ever play HOTS. <laughs> Where are one of these? Just buffs up two daggers, I'm down. What about Vamp Gloves? Vamp Gloves? I don't even remember what vamp clubs do though. What do you even do? Yeah, whatever. I'll try. Let's make a pair of vamp clubs. That's a lot of dragons. A lot of debuff dragons. I think I'm dead. Yep. Holy shit. Pyromancer is so busted. Jesus. I'm pretty sure I could have lived. But I needed like um like I needed my turn to start. He just killed me before my turn even started. Okay, what do these things do? Five amp, that's pretty good. And um, after four seconds, your items trigger way faster. Okay, that's not bad. Psalms might have pog. Yeah, those were good times. Good times. Maybe I should um make an anti heal helmet. Eh. eh, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> oh, this guy's also a hammer dagger. I feel like I should beat him. I have twenty two vamp. Oh my god, he just crit me for 80 and 90. Alright, maybe not. That is a... L what the f... Not if he crits me for 100 each. Oh shit, I wanted to see his build. 
That was like stone gloves or something. On hundred crit? What the heck? It's cheating. Only one round left. It's not even that good. I don't really got anything else to do though, so. Could I play another bird? I could. Here, F it. Should play two D bluffs. Oh, it's up for you. No, we haven't found a game. The queues today have not been good. Not sure what's going on today, but it's very slow. Three vamp, six vamp, ten vamp, thirteen vamp, eighteen vamp. 21, 22, my life steal will blot out the sun. He's infinite debuffing me though. Okay, it wasn't it wasn't good enough. It did not blot out the sun. Well the good news is we survived. That was actually close. That was actually close. We almost didn't. That maybe maybe vamp, vamp might not be as good as I thought it is. I'm surprised. I thought I would do a little better there. Yeah, I was almost right. I've seen this before. Is there... Why would you ever play Ranger Reaper? Why would I play Ranger Reaper? Is there a reason? Ranger Reaper, Ranger Reaper. I could play the bows. I could play the bows. I could play the bows that poison them. But why why would I need luck for that? I don't. Luck does nothing. Yeah, luck does nothing. Oh, it's just not good, man. It's just not good. Can't do it. Ranger Reaper Poison Whip build. Poison Whip? But the whip is thorns. What whip has to do with poison? Oh wait, isn't there some like thorns thing that makes poison happen? Oh wait, they removed that item. I don't think that item does that anymore. Can you not see class items on here? No class items, huh? Oh, it's a ranger item. What am I even looking for? Oh, yeah, it's this one. You have a 5% chance to resist debuffs for each nature item. Inflict two poison per thorns gained. Oh, Belladonna's Whisper. I guess you could just go poison and then you can make a Belladonna's Whisper. And that synergizes well, just because this 
bow does more damage off poison. That sounds reasonable. Alright, we'll give it a shot. It's probably a bad idea, but you know, whatever. Try anything once. YOLO. Opa, thanks for the prime. Welcome to the fan club. Oh my. Oh my. Well, that's inevitable. That's lucky. I mean, okay, well, there's one piece that we need. Um, I mean, we need like a poison potion. I actually need this. Not being able to buy this really sucks. Is that fun buns? I believe it is. That's what they tell me. Is he mad or trolling? I have no idea. You gotta ask him, not me. I feel like he just plays so much, like, um... Everyone that plays the game that much, they just stop, stop caring about how they perform and they're just playing to play kind of thing. Hmm. Wait, thorns? Wait, is this the item I need? It's not the thorns one, right? No, the thorns one is called something else. Yeah, no, it's not the thorns one. I need, I need a poison potion. I guess I could get a Tusk Poker, though. Doesn't sound that bad. Yeah, that makes more sense. You know, he's a, he's a bad rep? Well... You can probably see why, then. Or I can probably I can see why he has a bad rap if that's the case. Every time you gain a thorns and flick two poison. Arguably worth it to make another one of these bows then. Arguably worth it. It's not easy though. The gold, uh, the gold is really awkward here. I guess I'll try. I'm not sure if making this bow is actually good. The gold, gold is super awkward. I guess it makes my early game a little stronger. Could be worse. Ooh, pineapple. Wait. Then I can't make the bow. Ah, oh, but pineapple is pretty good here too. I'll just sit one round with pineapple. That feels bad, but... I feel like I... I feel like we want the pineapple. Um, on sale... And now, all I need is a poison potion. Mm 
this thing do? Two percent crit chance. I have no luck. It's fine. I'm afraid of ARPG, though I can play RTS. RTS, I thought, was the most APM-intensive uh, genre until I thought about it. But it turns out it's actually ARPG. Like in ARPG, you never stop clicking a button. Literally never. The entire design of every ARPG is you just mash one or s several of your buttons the entire time you're playing it. The entire time. I mean, I need, I need, I need the poison potion, kind of badly. Any poison? Kind of down for this. It's more, more poison procs. Any potion? I want this. Not really. Any poison potion? No? Okay. Auto mouse clicks? Yeah, probably should have used that. But, you know, when I was playing it, I didn't want to risk it. You could get banned for using some auto clicker right on the launch of a new ARPG. It's a little sus. Wait. The class items you get are still your class items. So you can't use the Ranger class item. Huh? That was... The... Why, why were we talking about the ranger class? I can't use it. No IV. These are all reaper class items. This seems to imply you cannot get IV, right? Subclass only for your real class. Yeah, so, so the IV thing was impossible then. The whole time, it should have been impossible. Weird. Wait, what's this one do? Crit and I, I mean... I'm just gonna buy this because it's on sale. I mean, in that case, I'm just gonna... Get 10 wins and GTFO, because this ain't looking good. <laughs> Wait, like I could, the build we're going for is not even possible. Oh, this is kind of nice, though. This hits a lot of weapons. Why do I have all this thorns then? Oh, boy. All right, peace out, Ryu. Enjoy your bedtime. I'm not sure, Chicago. I'm not sure. Is the cube broken or something? 
I mean, we are pretty high ranked on this account, I guess. Like 2k points, which these days is like unfortunately very high ranked. For every 8 damage the other weapon deals, this attack will inflict the poison, deal more damage per poison. Oh, I should have gotten the poison dragon, maybe. Yeah, maybe I should have gotten poison dragon. Oh well. I mean, poison snake. I have so many thorns. Like, what in God's name are all of this thorns for? I'm so confused. I have so many thorns. But I have no thorn synergy. <laughs> oh, no. How much crit do I have? I can't be much. It's the only thing that crits. Put the leaf in the chest to find the scythe. I don't even think uh, my build is good with scythe here. I don't have enough poison. I mean, I, I guess we just get whatever poison we can at this point. Just start running as much poison as we can. <coughs> oh, you're right. Yeah, we should put that top to group the fruit. True. Um, well, I'll, if that's not the most awkward poison potion I've ever seen, then I don't know what is. Other mushroom? Hmm? What do you mean? Like upgrade the potion? I wonder if do I wanna upgrade this potion? Probably do. Alright. It is what it is. Why don't you cycle all your accounts and you have a bunch to cave the diamond five? No, last season I didn't play an account. I didn't play at the end of the season. So my accounts didn't actually decay. Like you have to play after they decay or the decay doesn't save. So I didn't 
saved the decay last season. So, nope, all my accounts are GM. Welcome back, Jason. Thanks for the 24. I appreciate it. I have to make sure I play on them this season. Can't do that mistake again. We got one spot there. Maybe a Goobert. Maybe I'll just play the Goobert. That's okay. I just want to make it to 10 wins if I can, and then GTFO. We have a shitload of thorns and no synergy with said shitload of thorns. It's not good. Not looking good. What could I scythe? I could probably scythe something if it's on sale. It would probably be poison potions if I'm trying to scythe this. Like this. Four things scythed. Not terrible. Oh, Scythe makes my, uh, oh, I'm gonna run out of stamina like this, though. Okay, let's get rid of one of the bows, then. It's not like we need the. Uh, doesn't really do anything, anyways. Yeah, this uh, search time is quite insane. <laughs> I don't Zero, know. Ten, ten, it's been ten, like an hour, me. I feel like. What? Tank broken? What's going on here? Hero. Should I play in Hot S next? Are you serious? You're asking me about tanks in Hot S while watching that amateur fantasy stream. Play Stitches so you can hook Fan Hots off the map and give us all a break from their pathetic gameplay. What? What? Holy shit. That was savage. Listen, Gordon, you don't need to worry about hooking me off the map, okay? I can't even find a map to begin with. Can't even find a map to begin with right now. Feels bad, man. Oh, 
I, I am so dead, guys. Wow, one HP win. Hmm, that's good enough, whatever. Now, what if I go here? No, that's not as good. What if I put here. It's the same thing. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I uh, I chalked this one up to getting s scammed by chat. Chat told me a build was possible, and it was. Literally not possible. Scammed by chat, unlucky. Okay, I'm gonna play a cauldron game. Oh, okay, leaf badge. Yeah, right. Yeah, right, leaf badge. Been there, done that. You're not fooling me this time. I'm playing Cauldron this game. I've, Cauldron got buffed. I've never tried Cauldron in my life. I'm playing Cauldron. It's Cauldron time. You want a pig? Early pig? I'm down. I like money. Money nice. Makes sense to play this as well. Because we got a lot of food. That is an early mana orb. Um, Cauldron does do mana. Yes, Cauldron, I, I, I need food, potions, and mana weapon. Okay, I'll actually keep this stuff. What's the best mana weapon, though? I don't even know. What weapon does the most damage? Assuming you're gonna have a lot of mana. Mana thirst? That's the one that life steals, right? I feel like that one doesn't do damage. I feel like that one's not. I feel like that's not right. What does this combine into a mana weapon? I think it does. Alright, I'm using this. Magic staff. Don't fail me now. I believe in you. Every time I use Mana Thirst, I feel like it sucks. Well, I'll let you. Mana Thirst, like, steals life. But I don't feel like it does much damage. Anti-heal staff? Maybe. Use 3 mana to deal plus 6 damage, increases damage. This looks decent. What can I combine with a magic staff to upgrade it? I know there's something that combines with this to upgrade it. Items. Um, corrupted crystal. Is that what makes this? Is that the only upgrade? Is there no other magic staff upgrades? Looks like that's the only one. Any anyone see any staffs? Ah, uh, it looks like yeah, I think that's the only one. Use three mana to deal plus six damage and increase damage by two. Every two seconds heal for sixteen. 
Oh yeah, that's that's way better. Okay. Better way to do this. Yeah, that looks cl pretty clean. I think that's better. <sighs> Might want to requeue? Oh, I already did. I'll do it again for you. Oh, look, there we go. But uh, I already did that, and uh, <laughs> I don't think that's the reason. Because we already tried that once. Acorn is crit staff, but it's ranger only. Okay, gotcha. Hello, mana thingy? Yes, please. I think I will need more mana. We're going mana build for sure. Um, now, it's conceivable I could make two mana weapons. That's conceivable. You know, I'll buy this. It's on sale. It is possible that I might want two mana weapons. I'll think about it. But uh, for now, we're not going to use it. Does Reeking put you at the back of the line? I don't know. But we haven't found a game in an hour, so the presumption is there is no line that we're allowed to get into anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, there's a mana. Oh, there's a mana torch. There's a mana torch. I saw someone else using mana torch, and it looked pretty, pretty good. But if I make the torch, then my stamina goes too high. Hmm. I mean, this is solvable with two bananas. This is not great, though. And I'm sitting two fruits out here. Um, it's probably time to drop the flute then. This looks a little better, probably. Yeah, this looks fine. I'll take this. Oh, best of luck to you, Jay. Okay, we just need one more mana orb, and then we will have the magic torch as well. Should be decent. Wait, there's a better way to do this. Oh, still only three. Eh. Okay, that's four. Bananas touching each other, kind of lame, but whatever. Oh, wait. Oh, that's also four. Okay, that's just better. Not sail fruit. Grab the crystal. Wait, what do I need this for? Oh, wait. Is this? Is this? Hey, it doesn't say it combines to the magic staff, though. Wait, what? How come it doesn't say it combines with the staff? It only says it combines with the pen. Is that crazy? There's no line to the staff. Oh, it's demonic flask. Okay, yeah, they changed the recipe, right? Right, it's demonic. Okay. I remember. 
Yeah. You're right. Okay, we need to look for that then. Oh wait, I need potions. Shit, I think I skipped a health potion. I need potions for this build too. If I need a demonic flask, I might as well buy a customer card. That's a like a that's like a really it's like a legendary item, godly item. She's just really good, yeah. Mana shield. Mana shield. Mana shield. I'm no I have no armor though. I need potions, and I need a mana orb. Oh god, mana orbs. Where are all the mana orbs? Oh no. This does not seem that good. Can you magic torch with mana potion? I don't know, can you? I have no idea actually. I wanna play cauldron. Oh this I kinda want this. This uses a lot of mana. But then my staffs use a lot of mana too. Wait, how the hell do I do this? I think I get rid of the pan, that's how I do this. What does this do? Every 3 seconds, heal for 15 or gain mana or gain heat. Triggers faster for every food. Okay, so we just spam food near it. Upgrade an adjacent potion. What is adjacent? Like, do I does it need to be here? Okay, fine. Let's do that for now then. Cauldron is relatively new, yeah. I mean, I think they added it when they released the game, so it was not in the beta. Okay, but how much mana? Use three mana, and then this is gonna use mana too. Nah, I think I don't have enough mana to support a crown. We need more. Oh, this is what I need. Thank God, man. I don't even think I want to combine it because I don't think I generate enough mana. This is like a one and three to generate mana. That is not exactly a guarantee. I'll just keep the mana orb for now. Need more mana generation. That was terrible. No wonder no one plays Cauldron. Cauldron sucks. What the hell? I need to upgrade my staff. Maybe it's okay after we upgrade our staff. I feel like a bird is good when you have this much food. It is kind of hard to fit the bird though. Well, 
does look really good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's uh, every item triggers 40% faster. That's kind of massive. It is the mana potion, okay. Do I want to make a mana potion? Is that something I want to do? Oh, I can't. I can't make it anymore. Because I made it the strong one. Oh, more mana. I'm down. Mm. So, like, does my weapon just suck and I die if I don't find a demonic potion? Like, is that what's happening here? Like, my weapon just sucks? Or what? 12 mana. I do have enough mana to sustain a crown. What is this? This board is so... Well, I guess he's got... Eh, it could be worse. I do have enough mana to sustain a crown now. Alright, I'll play a crown. Mana armor? Mana armor would not be bad. I feel like I need another mana orb though. I don't want to combine this mana orb. It's giving me so much mana. I need like another mana orb and then I can combine it. Okay. I don't know what happened that one round I got wiped. Oh, now it looks like Magic Staff is doing much better. Now Magic Staff is uh, able to ramp. Looks much better. Can you upgrade this potion? You can. It's on sale too. Eh, screw it. I'll upgrade it, why not? I think the crown is important. The crown lets me invuln for two seconds. That buys me a lot of time, so I can actually... Cleanse 13 debuffs, gain 8 buffs. That's pretty good. Stone skin? Do I want to upgrade a stone potion? I don't have armor, though. Why not? Staff of Unhealing, that's massive, that's what we're looking for. I guess after this, I could look for the Moon Armor. Is it even that good though? Like this takes a lot of space. Like do I even want a Moon Armor at full price? I don't know. I mean, I do need a way to like not die. Check stats? Check stats? How do you check the stats? For mana armor? Like what? Huh? Oh, you mean like here? Every three seconds gain three mana. So it does help me generate mana. And then gain for magic items. And how much magic items do I have? I'm, I'm gonna have like one magic item. 
All right, I'll get it. I do need more tankiness, I feel like. The mana armor would trigger stone skin potions too. That's true. If I get the armor, then I can actually um, start upgrading stone skin potions and get more value from the cauldron. All right, I like it. It's good enough. So let's do this. Let's do this. And then, oh, another bird. Ain't no way I fit another bird in here somehow. This is a, this is a pretty good bird, though. It's actually pretty, it's on sale. I'm fitting this. I have to fit this. These are really good birds. Like, really good. So much value here, I feel like. Banana has nowhere else to go. Uh, I don't really need the banana, it's fine. Stone skin potion, actually. Better. Okay. Yeah, we could throw the torch away now, right? Yeah, you're right. I was thinking about turning it into a ma magic torch. I'm still kind of down though. Like, I'm still kind of down to turn it into a magic torch. I just need to find one more mana orb. Um, do I need an upgraded stamina potion? Not really. Like, the upgrading potions is pretty high value, but I don't need more stamina. Actually, I did need more. I, I did need more stamina. I was running out of stamina. Right, I'll upgrade it. It's high value here. That's what cauldron is for, right? Might as well. Okay, I'm definitely not playing poison potion, though. Or am I? Oh, shit, mana orb. Hold on. Okay, now we can get the mana torch thing. I'm not playing the portion. Oh yes, debuff me, debuff me. Oh, strong divine potion, big value. So many buffs. I'm getting giga debuffed again though. Oh no. Oh no! Strong Divine Potion, not enough. I have so many buffs. It's not enough. Which one of these is the most useless? Probably stamina. I only need one stamina. Don't need more than that. Wait. I don't debuff the other guy that much, right? Yeah, no, we're a mana healing build. So I don't debuff the other guy that much. Lamp. We have a shit ton of uh, mana and we have a shit ton of... Uh, Why does this not combine? Wait, this doesn't combine. Oh, it needs to be mana potion to combine. I see. 
But the only weapon I have that could use a lamp buff is the torch, and it's not easy to even get to the torch. I might shift every. Oh, no. Sh I shift this over a little bit. So that would be plus 20 armor. I'm gonna lose a lot of mana though. I don't need that much mana. I have enough mana. Another bird. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, that's a, that's a good bird. It's not like it's a bad bird. It's like a decent bird. This is so stupid. I have so many birds. What is going on? <laughs> I don't I don't even know anymore. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah, the torch needs mana potion. Yeah, I, I think I see that now. That's okay. <laughs> We're probably not going to be able to get the torch, magic torch this round, but that's okay. How good is the staff of unhealing healing me? Yeah, 6.9, 5.5. I don't know. Wait, this staff doesn't seem that good. Use six mana for two seconds. Healing also does damage. Shouldn't it be healing me for more than this? Moonshield. I don't have room for Moonshield. How would I get Moonshield? By getting rid of one bird? It's probably Moonshield. I probably should get rid of one bird. Okay, this torch is not doing shit. Yeah, I'm over. Yeah, 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 yeah. Torch, torch dream is dead. Holy shit, it's a game, Pago. Do I need a Heartstuck Bronze 5 account? I'm always looking for Heartstuck Bronze 5 accounts, yes. Always looking for them. I'm actually planning on starting Bronze to GM in less than a week. In like half a week we'll be starting Bronze to GM, so... Won't need to worry about these long queue times for much longer. That's not funny, dude. What the heck is this? One Phoenix, four hearts. Wait, he has 110 regeneration? How? He actually... Wait, what? Every 0 0.84 seconds, remove two buffs from your opponent and get two regen. So he removed like 7 trillion buffs from me or what? I guess he removed 7 trillion buffs from me. 
What the f This torch does 75 damage. How does he have this much heat? Double chili goobert, I guess. That's crazy. What a crazy build. Oh, I'm in. That was cool. Don't dodge. Yeah, I'm not dodging. Ain't no way I'm dodging. Maybe it's time for some gems. Serve. I will fight to my last breath. Okay, I feel like Cauldron sucks. Oh shit. Still made it to plant though. I don't... Okay, now I see why no one plays Cauldron. This doesn't seem that good. It just does not seem that good. Um, What do we got here? They gotta kill it. And this? Might as well. The problem with cauldron build is the weapon. What weapon do you think is best with cauldron build? I don't actually. Yeah, I'm. That's what I was wondering. Wonder what uh, what weapon I need. Kaboom, the swarm endures. Pandemonium. Are you trolling me, or is pandemonium actually good with it? Well, I guess I could see. Okay, I guess I could see the placement of the pandemonium. So that way you're double dipping. Um, let's play a game. That way you're double dipping on the the food. You can put the food in between the pandemonium and the cauldron. I mean that doesn't sound that good to me though. I don't know. That still doesn't sound that good. For the frozen throne. Is cheese something only Berserker can get? How come I never get cheese on any other class? You need crowns and a bajillion mana orbs for the staff? Okay. None it is Berserker. My gotcha. Grasp. Am I crazy or does their comp seem wonk? Well, they have an offlaner, they have a four man, a tank, a healer. I mean, it looks pretty normal to me. I would prepare for your ceaseless battle. I guess the Zagara is your solo range is not something you see every day, but other than that, they got every role covered. That's all you really need. That won't be a problem.
Uh, Mamba, thanks for the 56 the months. Welcome back. In ten <coughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Let your battle begin. <laughs> Hey, what's up? Watch for Dan. How's it going, my man? Build am I going this game? Probably going. Well, I'm definitely going Calamity. I might even go Diamond Skin just because they have a lot of dive. But that one, I'm not 100% sure if I'll go yet. Let's see how the game feels. Yeah, Calamity is pretty necessary in the super high elo. Landed on him before he um, could vault. I don't have calamity though, so that's all the damage I'm getting. Ooh, Kobe! Well, if we're trading shrines, I kind of want to do building damage to this. This is uh, essentially like free building damage, big value. Big value. Your defenses are nothing. Danger closes. Your grave awaits. At this point, I just keep big valuing. Anytime you get like a full wave walking into a fort, so much extra damage you can get on that fort. Find something else to fight over. We are kind of. Retreat. Easy. What do you call the opposite of your brother? Orb. <laughs> I guess that's true. Wait, we're not going orb though, no. 
<laughs> We're not going orbit. Am I dead? Oh, that globe was not worth it. But I got it. So maybe it was. I'm not the solo winner. Who the hell is the solo winner? Hello? Hogger? I'm not going to bring it off. Mm. Where's our team? Well, I hope they're killing something. Why are we not defending this? Yeah, I lied. I am the solo laner. I'm just, I'm just the solo laner top now instead of the solo laner bottom. I guess I am the solo laner. It is what it is. Minus one cocoon. That kind of sucks. Do not let these crush them. Rob, welcome back. Thanks for the 74 months, man. Much appreciated as always. I hope you've been doing well. It's a rerun? Your mom's a rerun, Wookie. I mean, what? Healed. If this were easy, everyone would do it. Yeah, Zarto used every blink there, but I guess we can't catch. Oh my lordy. at all. so well. Uh, correction, I was doing so well. It was only a matter of time. They have way better players than we do. They have Cure, June, freaking Killadin. I got like a bunch of masters posing as grandmasters. It's only a matter of time until the skill diff occurred. Seems like my travels never end. Flows 
goes through He's a good player. Yeah, but he's mainly good on two heroes. He's a two trick. He plays Genji and he plays Maev. Maybe Hanzo too. He's not as good on any points. Those are his main heroes. Well, my tank is top. We can't contest boss. But yes, they are doing it. Commoners were not close to 16. Kind of wish my Hogger could soak 16. Bosch push with them having 16 and us not having it is pretty bad. It's a very big power fight. Uh, power spike. <laughs> Expected. We still have a little. It's gonna die to the shine soon, though. Didn't see this coming, did you? I mean, now's as good as a time to fight as any. Before our top keep dies, way. and then our bottom keep dies. Once again, though. Your enemy has destroyed a fort. We're not fighting for some reason. <laughs> And now our team's dead. No synergy. Hoggers in Antarctica. <clears throat> for this? Well, it could have been worse. I've had far worse games. <laughs> At least no one like turbo trolled. This is considered one of the better games you could possibly get honestly these days. Here we go. Trouble myself. What do I think Hogger's best 16? It depends what build you're going. I mean, I like the Q stun with my normal build, but if you're going W build, W is good. Should I 
I guess we just lose because we're not gonna go there. I mean, you see, this is what I mean, right? See, you say excuses, yo yo, but you know, this is what I mean when I say they have all the real grandmasters and I have all the fake ones. You see how on our team, they, they were doing a game-winning move called the boss and I'm the only person that knew they were doing the boss. Yeah, that's, you know, like, the rest of your team doesn't even know what's going on. You can say excuses, but, you know, it's, how do you win when the other team's doing boss and your team doesn't even know they're doing boss? They're not nowhere close. And if they get the boss, they win. You don't play that game. You basically can't. Defeat. MVP. Honestly, just bad picks. I don't think our picks were bad. I think our picks were pretty strong. Like Junkrat, Anub, Stukov. These are not weak heroes. They're pretty strong. Play tank so they can follow you. See, unfortunately, that doesn't work either. I mean, so last game, the way the last game is, and the way a lot of these Grandmaster games are set up, there are players in Grandmaster that are, like, way better than other players. And they had more of those players that game. So if I'm playing tank last game, what'll happen is my DPS will just die 10 times. Like, it doesn't, like, you know, every time the DPS and the DPS meet, you remember when I killed Kira early game? Like, that doesn't happen. What will happen is Kira's going to kill my DPS like 17 times. So it doesn't matter which role you play when the when there's a skill gap between the teams and it's too big. On the bright side, we're getting instant cubes though. Is this I need healing guy? This guy looks like a smurf too. It's pretty hard to tell though. They're just smurfing in diamond. Possibly dual queuing too. Hey, okay, good evening, Ale. Would it be bad to cocoon Zara? No, you could do that. That's like potentially good. That being said, um, Zeratul can set up his wormhole so that he can wormhole while your cocoon's midair. So it's not always good. Stukov I will fight to my last breath. And the Hogger are a dual Q. I wonder who these guys are. My grasp. We 
might get new slash returning players once Day9 plays the game again. Do you have information about Day9? Why would Day9 play Haunts? Where will we end up this time? Do you, you got you got some uh, some secret info or something? What's going on there? The first three GMs in the EU have crazy boosted win rate. Yeah, I hear there's like a lot of win traders in the EU. I've heard that. Uh, he's replaying all the old Blizzard games. He's replaying all the old games for Blizzard. That's cool. I'm kind of curious how long he would actually play Haunts for, though. Let's fly. I feel like when non-MOBA players try to play MOBA, they don't last that long. <laughs> but I mean, well, I guess we'll see. These guys are an oceanic duo. Oh, okay. Victory for the Forsaken. Oh darn, I wanted Tracer, but I don't own it on this account. Want something that can break web? Eh, yeah, whatever. Just play, uh... Wait, Sylvanas is banned too? Uh. Maybe I'll play Tychus? Oh, it's not banned. They picked it. Day 9 is like a uh, very famous StarCraft streamer and caster. Long, long time ago. Crazy how fast you found a Storm League game. This is just called InstaQ. So what this is is basically everyone in the last game came out of the last game and they all pressed find game. So you just all get into the next game at instantly because you're all around the same elo and you're all pressing find game at the same time. So before this, I had an hour long queue. So yeah, instant queues are not always going to be the case. They're kind of something seconds. different. Master Assassin times seven heroes? Huh. I have a point. You know, maybe I'll think about it. That, I mean, you technically have a... Master Assassin does trigger off of, uh... Every time a Viking dies, right? Like, I think that's true. I think. Someone get over here and help me. But it looks like the false dad wants to be ganking more, so I don't know if I can roam much. Servants to the <coughs> grave. 
I am kind of tempted. Hmm, Master Assassin versus TLV. Doesn't sound like a bad idea. Doesn't sound like a bad idea, I must admit. Sounds reasonable. But then again, I'm not convinced I'm going to actually be able to um, roam and actually go to the Viking lane. My bad, didn't see false out top. Yeah, I don't think we're getting I don't think we're getting master assassin value. Nothing is dying. And false dad wants to roam, so I can't roam. Yeah, Zildjian's headhunter works exactly the way you think it does with Vikings. You have to kill them all. You have to kill like seven things to get it the full quest benefit. So it's very bad against Vikings. HP drops, man. That's bigger than our value. Master Assassin is just so shitty. It's just so shitty, man. I wish it wasn't. It is. <coughs> the altars belong to those who claim them. Come on, get over here and help me. Pulse has backing, so Diablo is 1 versus 29 right now. Luckily, he's tanky AF because he's Diablo. See that trade? Like, oh my god, bigger is so good. It's so good. Anyone see that trade? Or not? Nah.
Tactics grenades do a lot of damage as well. They do. Right with Fang is pretty bad. That is no way no. Slays Tinks better. Tinks Slayer Thrall or Tychus. I mean, they both do it pretty well. I feel like Tychus probably does it better though. The passive is good with level 16 Giant Killer, that's true. There is synergy there. I don't think Giant Killer at level 16 is Tychus' best talent though. I generally go grenade talents, I feel like those are better generally. Versus one on the side, though. Good one versus one. Said that. Why did he leave the camp? Hi Pian, I just realized you're the Hikaru Nakamura of Hots? Is that me? Okay, I mean, I'll take it, I guess. Why though? Why Hikaru out of all the chess players? EU nade? Is that, was that an EU nade? EU always plays like weird builds though. Like I feel like EU, EU, the the s player quality is better. They have more players, but their players play like dumb builds. I wouldn't be surprised if they play like a master assassin auto attack build all. I have opened a tunnel near our core that leads to the battleground center. <coughs> Use it well. Oh, my heroes 
shall have this gift as well. <laughs> I'm gonna get caught. Gotta be careful about getting caught over there. Do not let them take our towers. Go! Do not let the altars fall into the Raven Lord's talents! Ideally, we don't let Rag die here. This time. I think my team's all dead. Well, I'm in a really good spot here, though. Enemy slain. Double kill. Sick Odin, actually. Sick Odin blinkers. Versus two alive. What can we even do? It's right. not that much. So just a bit. Boss? Nah, it's three alive versus two alive, and we don't have a healer. It's kind of risky to boss there, I think. Our healer did respawn earlier though, so maybe we could have. But if we boss, we would have given up something. Like they would have taken bottom fort back. It's not worth it. Bottom fort is really worth it. on this map. Fighting them, 18 to They're probably like tilted or something. It's not a good fight. We should have time, maybe. I think we should. They need to defend bottom, so we should be able to do this. If they fight us here, they should be able to defend bottom. But if they kill both of them bottom, it'd be pretty bad. Hopefully they don't know that. Oh wow, he actually got two pumpkins in with Gust. It's well played. How much lower DPS does the Odin do? Than Minigun? Mm. I mean, I guess it depends. I mean, Odin is like, um, not true damage, so it depends if they have armor or not. If they don't have any armor, I feel like it's almost the same amount of damage. But, um,. They have armor it would be worse but that's only compared to an active minigun and your minigun only lasts a couple seconds odin lasts a lot more than a couple seconds so pretty fast you're gonna out damage the minigun just because it lasts longer and odin also you can hit them from way farther away so you can actually fight 
from a safe distance. Odin's just, uh, you know, all things considered. Odin is still quite a bit stronger than Minigun. <clears throat> oh, good night, Mobius. Thanks for dropping by. We'll catch you next time. Yeah, the Odin range is one of the nicest things. Like, it's so nice to attack. It's like a, you know, you're like a Sergeant Hammer with a dash and no move speed penalty. It's nice. Why don't you open the loot boxes to see if you got any of the missing heroes on each account? Uh, because... I don't wanna like... It's like, well, first of all, you can't open it during queues, you know? So like, I'm sitting here for hours during queues, and I can't open them during that time. Because the technology is not there yet. And... I, I don't want to spend like three hours outside of queue time just clicking open box like 200 times. I got better things to do than that. I'm too lazy to click open box 200 times for a couple hours. I will fight also, the chance you get the missing hero is so astronomically low. Like, if it was, like, a really high chance I'd get all the heroes, I'd be like, eh, maybe I'd do it. But the chance you get a missing hero you actually need is just so astronomically low. I serve. Okay, Zuljin or Vala or Hanzo or uh, AA. Um. It's about damn time. Yeah, I can play one of those. Hey, what's up, Conagins? How's it going? Yeah, you probably could, Caesar. You probably could. Spam that space bar, it auto opens each item. Oh, I'm aware. I I know it I I know it does that. But you still have to sit there for hours if you want to Um if you want to open the, like hundreds of loot boxes. Oof, 40% win rate. 
Johanna. That means my tank is not gonna be good at peeling. Victory for the Forsaken. I'll play Hanzo. If my tank is a 40% win rate tank, I don't feel comfortable playing the auto attackers. Like, Vala and Zuljin really rely on your tank to, like, peel for you, you know? So. 4 out of 10 on Johanna does not inspire confidence that he can peel. So we'll play the, we'll play the hero that doesn't need peeling as much. <clears throat> Ready for the battle to come. I am always <coughs> ready. Make it a dono goal to have all the boxes open. Guess I could. But who would dono for that? Is GM number one a win trader? I don't even know who it is. Battle commencing in I don't know. Last, last couple times I tried to check the GM leaderboard, it doesn't even open. Five, four, three, two, one. Let the battle begin. See through the darkness <clears throat> of eyes. I do what I must. Ignore all distractions. They cleared the wave faster than a Johanna comp. Oh boy. It's a little I sus. You down. Understood. <laughs> you think yourself worthy to wield the Dragon Knight's power? Prove it. Take control of the shrines. Someone called Jia Ching Hu Cn is number one. Um, yeah, it sounds like a win trader. I've never heard that name in my life. Probably yes. Capture the shrines, inherit the Dragon Knight's power, and lay waste to this forsaken kingdom. Defend our fort. You should do a Sunday stream. For open first hour opening loot boxes? Yeah. I'm pretty sure all the people lining up for ARAM wouldn't be too happy about that. I will strike you down. <clears throat> See through the dragon's eyes. Hmm. <laughs> 
Fast also number one in the unit. Yeah, he's definitely one king. I don't think sharp and arrowheads is very good at level seven, but you know what? Since you told me to go full A, we'll meme it up a little. Like it's playable. It's not the best talent, but it's playable, so I'll play it. Minus 15. The armor's not good. It's okay. I think the W one's better if you can play the W if you can actually like um, play W properly. But the armor's okay. Damage these guys. You guys are getting chunked. Three minus three armor at a time. That was so boosted. All my hard work gone because of Giga boosted. Feels bad, man. Target practice. I am restored. You're just looking at him too, like it's like they had vision of him, right? I was just looking I'm like, are you sure you wanna go that way? Apparently he was. His strength was never yours to keep. See through the dragon's eyes. I do The cheater's the only GM on Asian server with perfect score. You get the feeling, this is not a coincidence. Yeah, I already told you guys like 10 times, I mean, he's obviously a one cheater, of course. Of course he is. Hero, why are you walking? Why are you walking out of the fort? You crazy, bro. Who will wield the Dragon Knight's ancient strength? I need a different top. Unstop expires, walks into Garage Toss. 
Makes sense why Joe's 40%? Yeah. It is what it is, though. It's like... Pretty far, pretty far DK pull. I am restored. It's my favorite champ. I have to pick one, maybe Lala. I do what I must. <coughs> I don't even play it that much these days, though, because it's like so OP. Kind of wish they nerfed her a little bit, actually. Rip, unforge. Beans dead, boys. The Zebo Tank Challenge. Stitches has 6,623 base health at level 20. With big voodoo and so harvest, objective is to bypass Do Stitches base health pool for 5 gifted subs. Mm -hmm. Additional gifted subs awarded for every 1,000 health acquired starting from 7,000. If you bypass 13,323, Stitches health pool at level 20 with 134 globes. A big sub bonus will be awarded. Yeah, that's not happening. That would literally be like a three hour game. I can tell you right now, that's 100% not gonna happen. And the Dragon but power. the first parts we can try. Well done. Double kill. Warlock asked me, is this a rerun? Nope, this is not. But don't worry, if you miss anything epic, you can bet I'll pull off another sidestep for you. So, stick around. AI fans just say. Too busy trying to live life. I can hear. Yeah, usually I take W build, uh, W with this build. That's the better version of the build. But someone asked me to play full auto attack, so I uh, just uh, did it for fun. Oh, he said this is live. Because this is live. This is literally live. Now you die. They're doing um bottom camp and they're getting DK and they have they're getting everything and my tank is just like I don't know where my tank is, but he's not actually stopping anything. You gonna shield this guy? Please tell me we can kill that guy. No.
Double kill. Team's dead. All right. Anzo's super long range. Yep, that's the best part about him. It's what you wanna abuse. Just so. Giga long range. Well struck, heroes. You are nothing. The Dragon Knight shall reduce you to cinder. DK has lost 30% of his life before it's auto attack. That's good. Chilling alive. Hey, what's up, Toast? Welcome back. Let's see you, Chiller, arriving. Thanks for the 39. Ancestral. No more the ancestral though. Aw, oh, that was kind of loose. It really was. But... Oh, I should have jumped before that hit me. That's my be. This is the situation where AA Zara thrives in though. Should be able to kill them all. Why do a new bronze <coughs> to GM when you have so much bronze in GM? Well, mainly because the Qs are faster. That's mainly it. Nice. Pago. There is a lot of bronze in GM, but in order to get the bronze in GM, you have to queue for like 30 minutes to an hour to see the bronze in GM. To see the bronze in bronze, you queue for like 5 seconds. Joe waited for her unstop to end before engaging. Yeah, this person doesn't really play Joe. It won't be long before the shrines are ready for the take. Once again, this is that's why I checked the win rate and uh, I decided to pick Hanzo instead of the the ones that need to stand closer to AA. Cause cause I knew that Joe wouldn't really be able to play Joe. He's doing what he can though, you know. It is what it is. And claim vengeance for my family. I am restored. <coughs> Diamond and backpack battle. Nice, congrats, man. Love to hear that. Very well. <coughs> it would be a nice time to fire at about now. On my way. I 
I wish he followed so I have vision so I can arrow. Oh, I got his dash too. That was a massive arrow. No dashers. Fortunately, Bridge of Death will be. AoE Ancestral is kind of OP too, I'm not gonna lie. AoE Ancestral is so good, man. You get like the biggest AoE damage ever, and then he just Ancestrals. I really want three more stacks. My auto attack speed is terrible right now. This is a feels bad man. <coughs> Reduce everything to ash. Kind of get a good angle for the uh, arrow, but. Don't see one. Ignore all distractions. Sig Brightwing cleanse heal though. Brightwing is so weak. Shotting catapults with this uh, level 4 talent is always so fun. It's satisfying when you one shot all the minions. Yeah, 1500 damage auto on the catapult. MVP. All right, peace out, Rap. Thanks for dropping by. We'll catch you next time. Garden of Terror. Maybe AA Hanzo is how you get out of your 11% win rate gutter. Well, I mean, it's not that hard, I guess. You just AA. Dying does suck on a Hanzo though. Losing those level 1 stacks really sucks.
All right, peace out, finished. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the Bronze GM soon. It'll be happening soon. Hey, did you see Blizzard updated the hot site? Any idea what it could mean? It's a pretty substantial change, a complete overhaul to the Heroes page. I saw a Reddit post about it. I don't even know what the what it looked like before, so I I have no idea. Your guess is as good as mine. Your guess is as good as mine. Oh yeah, we need to do the um the stackalicious. Let's do it. On survival 2025, you know? One can hope. I will uh, not be holding my breath, but one can hope. Isn't Valera just the worst air tool? In some respects, yes, but not always. I mean, Valera power spikes earlier. Valera starts getting pretty good at like level 7. Zeratul doesn't get good till level 16. I will fight to my last breath! Valera also has CC and uh, Zeratul doesn't, so. But generally speaking, once you get to level 16 onwards, yeah, you'd rather have a Zeratul, but Zeratul is very powerful after level 16, honor. so With honor, it's just how it is. That's funny, Toast. Maybe none of the people actually play Valyria. They probably just... none. Of, I, I'd imagine none of them have ever really played it much. Probably not comfortable with it. What state is Genji in? Oh, Genji is very strong. He has a Q build with a... His, uh, with his jump, his D. That gives you permanent spell shield essentially. And uh, permanent spell shield is very strong. Beardy, what's up? End up this time. The battle begins shortly, heroes. You ready to turn up the heat? My soul is prepared.
I go. Alright, so what was this donut challenge? Let's uh, replay it. In 10 seconds. 5, 4. Nazebo tank challenge. One. Stitches has 6,623 base health at level 20. With Big Voodoo and Soul Harvest, objective is to bypass Stitches base health pool for 5 gifted subs. Additional gifted subs awarded for every 1,000 health acquired starting from 7,000. If you bypass 13,323, Stitches health pool at level 20 with 134 gloves. A big sub bonus will be awarded. Yeah, that's... Yeah, okay, so try to get more than 7,000 health. I'm down, we'll try. 13,000 is definitely not possible, like I mentioned before. That would, that would literally be like a 2 or 3 hour game. Which doesn't really happen in HOTS. But we can maybe get past 7k? We'll try. Oh nice, they all rotated to the blaze lane. So I'm the double soaker now. This is what I want anyways. Perfect. I want to be the double soaker. Give me my stacks. Yeah, I think the most we ever had was 11 or 12k. And that's like a bronze game that lasted 10 centuries. So to go beyond that in GM is unfortunately impossible. Vikings will give bonus stacks after level 4? No, we're not taking the bonus stacks one. We're taking the extra HP one. Choose a talent. Big. You're just in time for the seeds of my vengeance to sprout. But which of you will gather them first? Seed is granted. Gather it, would you? I would so hate for you to not be the first to harvest enough. Big Nazebo damage! Big Nazebo damage! I can't really cap this easily though. Zebo's auto attacks are actually pretty effective against Tracer because you apply the poison on them as well. I'm just clicking this Tracer and he's like has to run away constantly. It's nice. I go. I go. Be ready to gather another seed. Oh, a 
What is the base target health again? Bypass 6623. Yeah. Guy there. I feel like I saw a garage there. Kind of flank again or something. Oh, oh he left. He's over here now. I feel a sweet journey. Are you ready for it? Choose a talent. That was my cloak, you punk. Oh, I'm getting guard for sure if I need more stacks. Guard is better at stacking. But my problem right now is this blaze is just killing all my uh, minions. I can't really double soak because blaze kills them so fast. real objective here is to farm this wave. We're just pretending like we're in the team fight. Wave more important. Go fight, Blaze! Yes, 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 yes. You go fight. I will soak. Seems good. I strike at your heart. I think there's another wave here. Soon. Well, there's no wave top for now. <coughs> now we get top wave. Do it. Oh, midwave. There's a tracer running at me. Do I care? Oh Aw man, this stupid plant killed all my minions. Choose a talent. Their defenses fall. Your terrors, my children, have fallen. I hope their sacrifice was worth it. Ah, just get mana. The waves are so pushed right now, can't get close to any minions. The way is clear. I strike at your heart. I am weak. Fight alone. Oh, that's all the Viking uh, cooldowns down. At least. Another. Uh, 
impressive. That seed is ready for gathering. I suggest you do it now. I'm not trapped with you, son. You're trapped with me! Such a double kill. Brah. We must not delay. Good work, Brad. We should attack. I Brah. Spiders, so much spiders. <laughs> Also your mom. No yours. Mom. What the heck? Weird AI Nazebo, please. No your mom. What are we at? 5.6k? Man, this is gonna take a while. Not even close. That ain't hitting me, you can have it. Ain't hitting me. Seven months that's like a year and a half or something, right? Close enough. Something like that. There's a big mob. I don't know what's going on. So. Welcome back, Osoi. Thanks for the seven. Much appreciated. Thanks for gifting the five sub gift bomb. Appreciate that. Toasty Pots, Flint Cheese, Oxy, Ladder Jack, and Lorimbo. Make sure you guys all think toast. Welcome to the club. Hope y'all enjoy your stay. Gifting this up to Exia. Welcome to Exia. Make sure you think Warlock. Got a lot of plebs being slain. Inducted into the fan club. Way. Welcome all. 5.3k HP. 6.4k. Oh, we're getting close. We're almost over 6.6. .6. Oh, 6.6677. Boom. There we go. That's over the uh, initial number, right? I think it was. The number six six two three. All right, we're over the initial number we needed to clear. Now let's see how much higher we can go. I am down to keep rotating and farming minions and never ending this game until the dawn of time. Whatever my team's doing here, I'm down. Yes, stupid Garrosh. Literally trolling. You're literally trolling, Garrosh. Why do you give me the freest kill? I've ever seen in my life. Also, the blaze was like pinging retreat, bro. There's like one garage face tracking five of us in a bush, and blaze was like, "Run, guys, run!" What? My variant didn't even taunt him for like ten years. 
It's actually crazy. Good work, friend. Okay, sorry, getting that. That means I should have some time to get some silk up here. We don't have a brightwing for like seven years, though, so I don't really know if we can do much with this. The um, the healer is a lot more essential in the, in the late game. Well, during every part of the game. You'd rather have the healer in life. Maybe we can kill this building though. Yes. I guess they can't defend them all. Oh, 7.4k HP. We've crossed the 7k mark. I have so much HP. Look at my HP bars. Look at my HP bars. Look at them. I don't care. Y'all want to hit me? I got as much HP as your core, baby. Tank Zebo. Reporting for duty. Oh, we broke 7k. Not bad. We'll take it. Could be worse. I'll take it. If you have a uh, YouTube Premium and you watch the stream there, do you guys still get paid for it? Don't know how that works for you. <coughs> um. Well, I would get paid for whatever ads that you uh, would have on YouTube that you don't see. So, in that sense, yes. But in another sense, I think Twitch has way more ads than YouTube, so YouTube... Uh, that's why a lot of people enjoy watching on YouTube, right? So I would be paid less just because there's way less ads on YouTube. But, I mean, you know, if it's a better experience for you, go for it. It's all good. Miser, thank you for the 10 sub gift bomb. I appreciate that. Was it 10 for hitting 7k? I feel like, I feel like that's extra or something. I'll take it, though. Appreciate it. Thanks for the challenge. It was a fun challenge. Yad, Dark Arrow, Akunis, Naxi, Raid Lead, Razor, Duke, Sport, Chop, and No Rest Days. Make sure you guys all thank me, sir. And welcome to the fan club. Enjoy your complimentary ad blocking sunglasses. That was a Masters game? Yeah, uh, these are like GM games. Yeah. You're subbed on Twitch, but you like to watch on YouTube so you can pause and rewatch a fight. Yeah, that's that part of YouTube is really nice. The video player feature is super nice. I feel you. A lot of you guys like subbing on Twitch but watching on YouTube. Yeah, that's that's uh that's perfectly fine too. That's uh very helpful as well. I appreciate everyone that goes out of their way to sub on Twitch. Even if you're watching on YouTube, it does help out. It does help out. All right, I'm gonna do my hand stretches for a bit while we're in queue here. BRB stretch break. Your payout is gonna be like that: seven K, ten, eight K, fifteen. Oh, I see, Miser. Gotcha. <clears throat> Maybe we could have gotten to 8k, but that stupid Garrosh kept walking into my whole team alone, man. Feels bad. Rip.
cursed hollow. You gotta be kidding me. Who dodged? Alright, I'll give you the cue a couple more minutes. If we don't find a game in like four minutes or something, though, I might call it because I do have that Zero Space tournament tomorrow, actually. By the way, if you guys want to watch it, it's going to be on twitch.tv slash play zero space. Uh, that being said, it is at 8 a.m. PST, and that is way too early for me. So I am probably not going to get too far because I'm going to be too sleepy. Yeah, it's so early. I hate it. I hate it. It's like the worst possible time for me. Why would they do that? Was a global tournament, so I don't know. Maybe it's like the only time zone that works for the other regions as well. <clears throat> yeah, thank you, Ryan. I appreciate it. Just don't sleep. Yeah, I thought about that too, but you know, you're not exactly at peak mental condition if you don't sleep for that long either. No matter what is kind of effed. You'll hop in. All right, sounds good, Shakalu. I mean, I might not even be on the stream, you know. You may, might not make it far enough to get on the stream. But uh, I do, I am playing that for fun tomorrow, so. That'll be there. You've been trying to get some friends to try this game and have some fun. Which role is currently better to help them have a better experience? Ah, uh, I mean, damage or healer, I guess. If your friends are new, probably put them on damage or healer. As long as they know kind of what their buttons do, they should be doing okay. <clears throat> Yeah, tank would probably be the hardest for a new player. Yeah, you could uh, you could throw him on it, but uh, I'd imagine a new player would struggle on how to tank.
solo laner would probably be okay for like a new player too. Like if you taught them what double soaking is, I mean, it's not that hard. Solo laner would probably be okay too. Murden's an easy tank. That's true. There are some easy tanks that are pretty intuitive. If they play other MOBAs, they could probably play stuff like that. Sleep and then wake up at 6. Well, you see, that would work for a normal person, but I'm a vampire, so I sleep very, very late normally. And, uh, yeah, with my normal sleep time, it's not going to be a lot of uh, hours of sleep, but it is what it is. All right, it's been way more than five minutes. All right, I'm calling it. I'll be, uh, most likely I'll be back tomorrow. Like, there's a small chance that I'm not back tomorrow. If the if I have to play the tournament for too long and then I'm, like, hella tired or something. But most likely I'll be back tomorrow. Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow for more Fiesta action. Thank you, Sam. I'm out for now. Don't forget, if you guys want to get a higher rank in HOTS, you want to get better at HOTS, get a better win rate, but you're not sure how to do it by yourself, then feel free to check out my Patreon, exclamation mark Patreon, or patreon.com slash fanhots. Also linked on all my YouTube videos, we have over 120 exclusive Grandmaster level guides on there. They're all made by me, all up to date. Every guide is fully educational. Uh, designed to make you a better HOTS player. So check that out if you need it. Other than that, reruns coming up in a minute from now on Twitch. Yeah. Peace out and good night.